Okay, I'm back. It's sloughed off again down at the bottom. That sloughed off last week when I fixed it, put the instant scab on it. I gotta do it again. It's rel relatively small, but you know, see how it's fading away over here? Over the years, it, it'll just fade away into nothing. The other side is all healed up. Flush, there ain't no holes. When you have skin cancer, the doctor cuts a big old chunk out of you and you're, you're deformed forever. It's, it's insidious. You know, it's, it's like, uh, it's like the doctors that you had in the dark ages where they, they don't sterilize needles and stuff, lead you out, transfer black plague to everybody. It, it just blistered off just by touching it. See that the skin is rejected. It's just like having a burn again. You can't leave it like that. It could get infected on you know and start dripping into. This is the problem with burns. You know, if 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 that slopped off and you left it like that, there's a chance you can lose your whole arm to an infection. So you got to close it up. You don't want to burn it that much. I mean, it's really sensitive to this hot poker. I'm just going to put a little black insta scab on it. And the second time, you have to be careful not to touch the rest of the scar that, that healed up. See how it's all red and pink under the skin? That's what it looks like when you have a burn. The top skin just burned off. Your, your body didn't want the top skin because it got burned before. It just rejects it again. But after this time, it'll be done for good. See how little this one's getting? You know, it, it used to be all real big and shrinking down in size. That's where the skin cancer was. I mean, it went deep. I got pictures of it. To get that deep, you have to pull the scab off, you know, because it's, you know, just to push on it hurts like crazy. I had them all. I had like six or seven of them all over my body. I still got one on my side, one on my rear. It's really small now. If you get one on your back, I don't know how you're going to treat it. You have to have somebody do it for you. That's the scary part. How do you reach your back? And these doctors won't do that for you in, in today's age. Before they can uh, do this on people, they have to have it all approved by the government. And that'll take centuries. In the meantime, everybody suffers. You have to take matters in your own hands. Don't leave it in the doctor's hands. The doctors, they just take you for every little cent you got. I work for a doctor, so I know all their schemes and scams. I know how much they milk the doctors for. How much they boost the prices up. They, they're going to steal everything you got just to save your life. My dad came to me and he asked me one time, what do I should I do about an aortic aneurysm? I told him, don't do anything. Let, let God handle it. He says, well, I could just drop dead one day. I said, well, yeah, you could drop dead right now when the doctor cuts that aorta. He, 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 he goes, how do you know? How do you know better than a doctor? I said, I work for a doctor. He didn't know that the survival rate for the, for the aortic, they didn't tell him that. There's 50% there's chance. That, well, who would take odds like that? That's like going down on the blackjack table and putting $1,000 down and saying, uh, that's not a good day. Because the, usually the dealer has a 60% chance over you because you got to take a hit. But they gave, him 50, they gave you 50% odds on the aortic aneurysm surgery repair. He, they blamed his heart. He, he never woke up. He was in a coma. Uh, just imagine you're trapped in your own body. You can't move. Your eyes are, you know, you can see everything. That's what happened to him. That's scary. But that happened to my cat. Couldn't move anymore. Just all you got, your eyes are, that's all that's left. You don't want to burn this dark. 
But you don't want to have it leak either. You want to try to get as much black stuff on there as possible, but it'll turn black on its own. I'm just closing the edges up, you know, with a with a blister around the edges. You see the dark black stuff going on the edges. Just seal that back down. You don't want nothing getting underneath it. And this will this will all turn black tomorrow. That's what I did in the other video. You can go back and look. This little blister is not as bad as, as the other one. It's kind of sticky, you know. But the black stuff won't stick to it. And you don't want to burn it hot again because you'll, you'll damage the skin again. It'll slough off again. This hasn't sloughed off yet. I ran my finger across it. It looked like it's going to be okay. And then some sloughed off. The, the black skin sloughs. See, it just goes more and more. You don't want to burn any more beyond that line. Otherwise, it'll get bigger and bigger. The new skin is sensitive. I mean, you just hold the poker and it was hot to the other skin, and you'll burn that too. That's why when I flat sticked it up here, that, that big line showed up here. Just barely keeping it, you know, a couple millimeters away from the skin still burns you. This is uh, an advancement of, uh, of, of man by like a zillion years. No man would have ever discovered this. I accidentally discovered it, so put odds on me accidentally discovering it. And put odds on Biden not giving me any money for it. I showed it to him, and he, he don't give a fuck about anything I tell him, so... That's him between him and my God powers. I wonder who won. He believes that some Jesus is going to take him to heaven. You know, and then his mom's going to tell him the devil probably took him the day after. Because they teach the devil too. They teach that there's some devil God who's just as powerful as God. Go ask Jesus to go kill the devil. You know what they tell you? He can't! <laughs> then why are you telling me Jesus is God? Yeah, you don't have a mind, do you? God could get rid of all the devils. If you can't get rid of the ghosts, Brian will find a way to get rid of them. I put it on my uh, Twitter, how to get rid of ghosts. It's a negative, positive charge between two metals in your house. And when they touch you, kaboom! Their, their little computer system shorted out because, you know, if you believe that you're in a world where ghosts could fly around, invisible ghosts could be picking in on you through your windows. They got, I got video and everything. I know they're true. You're in some dream world. With all my videos, it looks like to me you're a dream in my mind. I'm just going to wake up one day and forget about all you guys, huh? Like all the people I dreamed about last night. But I got dream blocks, so I couldn't dream about it. I only dreamed about half of the people. There was two dream blockers in my room last night. I got one of them, the other one. The dream blockers are spreading. You know, I talked to people. They told me, oh, I don't dream nothing. That's just a myth. What do you dream about? Oh, I never had a dream. See, they got dream blockers now. I don't know. What's the purpose of a dream blocker on everybody? They don't want you to dream. Uh, they put you in a state where you feel like you're dead when you wake up. Oh, my God. I feel like I just woke up from the dead. I didn't dream about anything. You want them taking over everybody?